Hey Warriors, it's Victoria. Hope you're doing well. I'm just coming tonight to talk to you about an amazing way that you can change the direction of your recovery and accelerate your progress by using questions. So questions that will help you crush your recovery. You know, Tony Robbins says that the quality of your questions determines the quality of your life. And I would like to offer to you that that applies in our recovery. So the quality of your recovery depends on the quality of the questions that you're asking. And you know, this is a really important uh, pivotal time in my recovery when I began to be aware of the questions that I was asking myself. So that's the very th first thing you need is awareness. And what I found is I was ruminating on questions that weren't helpful at all, like, why can't I get better? What if I never recover? Why don't I have any energy? What if I overdo it again? What if I have a setback? And why can't anyone help me? Now, do any of these sound familiar? And the problem with these questions is that our brain will give us an answer to any question that we ask, whether it's a helpful answer or unhelpful, whether it's true or untrue. That's just how our brain is designed. So you can imagine by those questions, why can't I progress? Why can't I recover? My brain is searching and scanning going, oh, I'll tell you why, because you're a loser. <laughs> you know? I mean, there is no good answer that could come from those kinds kinds of questions. So what happens is when we ask ourselves these questions, our thoughts, our questions bring an answer. And those answers are thoughts, which then are signals in the body that either activate our parasympathetic nervous system, which is for the calm, rest, and digest healing state, or the sympathetic nervous system, which means we create a cascade of stress hormones in our bodies that lock us in the fight or flight mechanism. And this is essentially what I believe is at the core of chronic fatigue syndrome is that nervous system because it is classified as a neurological disorder by the World Health Organization. And so basically we've got that fight flight switch turned on and we need to find there are many ways to turn that switch off but we need to practice it every day getting the nervous system into a healing state and so again by looping on these kind of questions that I was rehearsing in my mind they were thought patterns and they were constantly activating that fight or flight switch in my body so that I couldn't get into a healing state and recover so it was a really profound time when I began to look at this and decide to change the questions, to find empowering questions for my recovery. So those questions turned into things like, what can I do right now to take care of myself? How can I make this event or activity easier for myself? What if I actually find what I need and start to improve? How can I make the most of the situation? How can I make this day brighter for myself? What would be fulfilling for me to do right now? How can I set in place the support that I need? What if I do this and things really do turn around? What resource and people might be able to help me? And what if it all works out? So suddenly my brain began to come up with new answers to these questions. So for example, uh, how can I make the best of being bed bound? popped out answers like I can watch recovery modules on a health recovery program. I can connect with other like-minded recovery people online and discuss ways to recover. I can watch travel videos that lets my body know the direction that I'm going in. I can learn how to meditate. I can watch cooking shows so I can have cooking skills when I come out of recovery and impress my family after all this time. So basically it really shifted the direction of my thoughts and enabled my body to get into more of a calm healing state. So this is a really powerful NLP strategy, is changing out the questions. Neurolinguistic programming is using our language, in this case our words, uh, in the form of questions to redirect our neural pathways, which then have a tremendous impact on the body with that fight or flight or the healing mechanism. And so to use this strategy, you just want to become aware of the questions that you're asking yourself. And I would recommend maybe jotting them down in a notebook, 
kind of noticing throughout the day what kind of questions are running in your mind or when you get really frustrated what do you ask yourself and just be aware that we're asking ourselves questions all the time and then start now you don't need to wait to start now inserting these new questions or questions that you come up with that will help encourage you in a different direction and you will be amazed, I think, at how just these kind of shifts and questions can make a huge difference in your recovery path. Because these questions are empowering and they're going to actually switch on the physiology that's help you going to walk in a healing state. So anyway, Warriors, I hope that's helpful. I love sharing these ideas with you. I hope that they're, you know, helping you on your path because I know how challenging recovery can be. And I hope that you might, you know, put some of these on your bathroom wall, write them down on a note card, have them there for easy access. I used to do that. I had a whole wall in my bathroom covered with quotes and questions and things just to keep my mind going in the right direction. So take care, warriors. And remember, life's not over. It's starting again. And I speak life, health, and wholeness over you. So if you'd like more videos like this for inspiration and information and recovery, be sure to give the video a like and subscribe and join us over at Facebook at CFS Warriors Academy. It's a fabulous place of like-minded people. We have mentors who have recovered from CFS. that are sharing the gems from their recovery journey. So be sure to leave me a comment. I always love to hear how you're doing. Take care, Warriors.